Welcome back to the Dusty Dungeon of Doom. I am Marco. This is my older brother, Fabio. What's up? And today, we have a 10-minute upper body focus dumbbell workout. So that does mean you need to grab out some dumbbells, but we're not going to waste any more time, and we're going to get right into it. We got our 10-minute timer set up. We're going to hit go. That gives us 10 seconds. The first movement is going to be a dumbbell bench press. So we have two options. I have the bench. Fabio will be down on the floor for anyone who doesn't have a bench. And now the... Oh, there we go, had to lay down. The structure is simple. We're getting as many reps as we can, as long as they look good, in the amount of time that we have, which is 40 seconds, okay? So we got 40 seconds of doing the work and then 20 seconds of resting, all right? Good. Pushing up into the ceiling, controlling those dumbbells back down, giving your chest a big squeeze at the top too, okay? You don't need to go crazy heavy with any of the workouts on this channel. But if you'd like to, you absolutely can. It all depends on what you can handle and what you have at your disposal. Good, last few seconds. Maybe get one more rep in, boom! And then we're coming up, we get 20 seconds of rest until we go into our bent over row. All right, now we're gonna do a row where we have a dumbbell in each hand, okay? If you only have one dumbbell, just do one at a time. That goes for all of these movements. If you only have one dumbbell, just do one at a time. Last few seconds. Here we go. We're bending those knees, getting those hips back. Oh, rolling. Pulling that dumbbell up. This is also a no repeat workout. So this is the last time you're gonna do these rows. They're done after this. Moving on to the next exercise from here. Pulling it up. Making sure you're squeezing those shoulder blades at the top. Squeezing your hands on those dumbbells. Make sure you got a good grip. Breathing out on the way up. Breathing in on the way down. Last 10 seconds, you got it. Might be getting a little warm now. All right, feeling the burn in those in that back. Last few, get one more in there. Boom, done, good. Ooh, work right there. Taking a little rest. The next movement is gonna be a shoulder press. Okay, so we are limited in space here in the Dusty Dungeon of Doom. Fabio will be down on the floor. I will be sitting on the bench, and we're gonna show you two variations. Fabio's gonna go right here with his elbows in front, and I'm gonna show you the variation with your elbows to the side. So you see with the elbows in the front, he can go really far down. But with my elbows to the side, I like to get this 90 degree and then go right up. 90 and up, okay? We even have a mirror on the other side of the wall so that I can see my form. Good, 90, up. Okay, the reason we don't go all the way down is that is not a comfortable position for your shoulder. Just like with the chest press or that dumbbell bench, we're pushing through the ceiling. Pushing through the ceiling, squeezing our shoulders at the top. Okay? Bring it out on the way up and on the way down. Here we go, we'll get one more in there. Boom, we're taking a rest. The next movement is gonna be a fan favorite. We already know, curls. Okay, we're working the biceps a little bit. We're doing normal curls. Whew. You always you gotta feeling? get curls in for arms. Always gotta get curls in for arms, it's great. You use your arms for everything. It's good to train them a little. Here we go, it's 40 seconds. Boom, we start with that more of a neutral grip. We end up here with a supinated grip, okay? Just means palms facing up, that's all that means. Good. How you feeling, Fabio? Oh, I'm feeling good. This is the ideal workout for today. I was looking for an upper body one. I'm happy I'm got this right now. And we're happy that you're here getting a workout in as well. Listen, if you have more than 10 minutes, we got a ton more videos on our channel. Make sure you check those out. Uh, you're curling to that peak contraction and back down. Okay, peak contraction, big squeeze, back down. All right, we're not just dropping out either. Okay, nothing like that. You wanna control it the whole time. I'm gonna get one more so I'm nice and even. Always Boom. gotta even out. Always gotta even out. The next movement is gonna be a tricep extension. So that's again, overhead. So I'll be on the bench, probably will be on the floor. You only need one dumbbell for this. So if you're one of those people who only has one dumbbell, you're in luck. This one's for you. For those of you who have two, just set the other one on the side. Bring that dumbbell up, boom. Nice full extension at the top. Bam, big extension at the top. Boom. Okay, whether you're on the floor or you're on a bench, it doesn't matter. You're still getting a good movement. Okay, make sure you get a good range of motion. Pushing all the way through that ceiling again. To flex those triceps at the top. Give yourself an extra pump. A few more seconds here. Keep it up, keep it up, you've got it. This is our halfway point, right? Once we're done with this movement, 
It's only five more exercises. Good, keep it up. Last few seconds. Here we go, we get one more. Boom, and we're down and we're done. 20 seconds of rest once again. Next up is going to be the fly. We're gonna do a chest fly. So once again, you're either down on the floor or you're on a bench, depending on what you have at your disposal. But it doesn't matter which one you're using, you're still getting a good workout in. Here we go, coming onto our backs. Let's go. All right, push up. We're gonna slightly bend those elbows and spread those dumbbells out. I like to imagine there's a string on both of my elbows that's pulling them down to the floor. Okay, one nice fluid motion down, little pause and up, All right? You wanna feel that stretch? And you wanna squeeze your chest at the top. Ooh, good, a few more reps in here. We got enough time. Keep it going. Make sure you got that slight bend in those elbows the whole time. Get the biggest stretch you can, and then come back up. Good, good, last few. Here we go, we get one more in. We're gonna eat into some of our rest time, but that is okay. It's all about getting in the work, y'all. Exactly. Next up is gonna be probably the most difficult of them all. We're doing the lateral raise. All right, depending on the dumbbell you have, you might wanna go unweighted for this, because if you're using 30s and you're a beginner, you should probably go unweighted for this movement. Here we go. Lateral raises. Right here, elbow slightly bent. Boom, dumbbells just slightly in front of you if you'd like. I'm gonna be right out to the side. I'm not gonna judge you. I do not care how you do them. All I care is that you're doing them. Keep it going. Mm. We're almost done with this workout, y'all. More than halfway. Crushing it. You're getting those gains. You should be feeling a pump. Yep. You should be feeling good. Especially in those shoulders right now. Big pump in those shoulders. If you can go faster, you can go faster with it. If you have to go a little slower, go slower with it. No matter what, just make sure it's controlled. We got one more in there. Rest. Oh, oh, good. The next movement is gonna be a reverse fly, okay? You're gonna be in this nice bent over position. I like to start with my arms curled up, and then I extend them all the way out. Boom, just like so, okay? A few more seconds of rest. Reverse fly is probably one of my favorite workouts, actually. You like this one? I love it. Great way to incorporate that rear delt. Let's go. Here we go, we're right here, like I said. Bent over. Boom. Boom. Squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top of that movement. I'm feeling it now. We got a good burn going. Definitely getting pumped. All right, we're moving some blood into our muscles. Last few seconds, you got it. Hey, leave a comment down below. What you did in this workout, what weight did you use? Yeah, we want to know what weight are you using, okay? Share your progress. This is a community. Let's go. Mm, I'm here getting so fit, y'all. Boom. That's gonna be my last one right there. All right, good job, y'all. We're taking a few seconds, and the next movement's gonna be a simple pullover. You only need one dumbbell, so if you only have one, this one's for you. But we are gonna need to be either on the bench or on the floor. So get into that position, wherever it's gonna be. Boom. Bring that dumbbell drift towards the floor. Boom, coming up, squeezing that chest. Get that big stretch in those lats and in that chest. And then come up, squeeze that chest, good. All the way down, right back up, boom, big squeeze. And go down, and we're coming up, big squeeze. We're almost done here. When you're on the floor, you're gonna see that you can't go as far down. Still a good rep though. Yep, still get that, get those reps in. Okay, you get, of course you want the best form possible. Sometimes you gotta just make do with what you got. Boom, done. All right, the last movement here is another curl variation. We're gonna be doing hammer curls, okay? Cause we wanna incorporate those forearms a little bit. A lot of people neglect the forearms unless they're, you know, on the corn hub. Pick up more dumbbells. Pick up less meat, here we go. Boom, normal hammer curl. Sometimes you'll see people online doing hammer curls like this. Truth is, you can do them how you want. I don't care, as long as you're doing them. Keep it going. Boom, nice curl up. Come right back down, you can feel that forearm activating. Still using that bicep, peak contraction, control. Peak contraction, control. Try out both at the same time. See how that feels. 
Let us know what you think. I think it's a little bit more difficult when you do both at the same time. Let's try this out with y'all. Yeah, boom. Okay, one more rep in. Deal. Bam. Just like that. We are all done. Hey, it's that easy, all right? If you only have 10 minutes, we got plenty of videos out there for you. If you have more time than 10 minutes, we got plenty of videos out there for you as well. We can't thank you enough for taking time for yourself, okay? I'm Marco, this is my older brother Fabio. We're in the dusty ass Dungeon of Doom, showing you that exercise is accessible anywhere. Leave us a like if you're enjoying this content. Subscribe for more workouts. And if you really wanna take your exercise to the next level, we got a program for sale on our website. Catch you in the next one.